all right so i'm gonna keep it real um i honestly did not expect to be making this video right now i just finished watching the record of ragnarok anime for the first time a couple of hours ago dude and i just needed to come on here and give my final thoughts and impressions on it i'm actually re-watching it right now on the tv i don't know if you guys can see it i'm on episode six dude but it's just that this anime had so much potential to be great man and i feel like i should clarify things beforehand before i even state anything because i feel like people are already gonna be jumping to conclusions like oh this guy's gonna shit on it he's gonna call it mid he's gonna be hating on it and whatnot everything that i say in this video comes from a place of love and adoration and passion for a series that i enjoy the fuck out of i love this series so much it's actually the second and the no, second anime the second manga that i've ever read dude i absolutely enjoy this series to the fullest i actually watched record of ragnarok in a discord party with eight other friends who have seen it and we had a great time watching it man we had a fun ass time watching it just seeing the characters have voices and music and whatnot and just seeing some of the stuff come to life it was fun now don't get it twisted mean fun does not mean that the anime itself is amazing right there are so many flaws and just shortcomings with this anime that i feared was gonna happen you know i actually this video might come to a surprise to some of you guys because i actually just dropped the video talking about the record of ragnarok anime you know kind of my theories and my thoughts beforehand watching it and you know in that video i was gassing it up bro i was like yo dude as long as the as long as the fights are decent this shit's gonna be fire dude i don't care you know the second trailer looked absolutely flames dude no matter what you know i'm gonna die on this hill dude i'm gonna just this, this shit is gonna be fire dude and I, i'm like be honest I, I was brainwashed bro i was coping a little bit you know i feel like in the back of my head i knew like damn this anime might not be all that it you know it turns out to be bro and you know, when we get stuff like this in the anime, and before you guys say anything, I this is not an edit. What you're seeing right now is not an edit or a meme or anything like that. This is actually what Netflix and, you know, Grafnica, you know, they put together and they thought, yo, people are going to think this shit right here is fire. Adam versus Zeus, one of the most hypest fights not only in record of ragnarok but in manga bro adam versus zeus you know how many fucking fan animations are of this fight that look better than this set sometimes dude it's just crazy that if there was any fight you needed to get your top animators on you just needed to put all the work all the budget into you know lobu versus thor cool bro you know that shit could have been decent you know, I love my boy Kojiro, don't get it twisted, but Kojiro versus Poseidon, that could have been decent too. Adam versus Zeus, though. You needed to get your top dogs on this, bro. And you come out with this slideshow? I feel like I have to make one thing clear, um, even though I there is a slideshow portion and there is stiff animation and whatnot within the Adam fight. The Adam fight is not just this whole slideshow part that you're seeing. There is some parts in there that like do look cool and whatnot but overall i still think that definitely it should have been a lot better than it actually was record of ragnarok dude has so much potential this anime has so much potential to be phenomenal a classic i tweeted out bro it, it, it had so, so much potential to be a banger dude all i'm seeing online right now is people shitting on it People just saying like, yo, this shit is trash. I'm not giving this series a try and whatnot. And this is what I feared, man. It's what I feared because I feel like everyone, if you love fights, dude, you love like this mythological setting, dope backstories with the characters and whatnot. Please, please, please give Record of Ragnarok a try. Read the manga. I, I can't believe that I'm saying this right now, dude. Like, read the manga, dude. Now, like I said before, I did enjoy watching the anime now before i get into anything else let me actually get out the way what i loved or what i liked i guess i should say about the anime one the soundtrack slaps bro i absolutely love the soundtrack the music that plays behind some of the fight scenes and whatnot i love the ending a lot me and my friends we were watching it we never 
skip the ending bro it had some cool easter eggs in there just cool little tidbits little sneak peeks and whatnot i fucking love the ending and i actually really liked the opening too i know a lot of people wasn't fucking with the opening the opening the visuals were pretty eh but i actually really liked the song a lot dude like i soundtrack definitely very standout point right there um another standout point is actually the art like the animation you know it, it's very stiff and still at sometimes it's usually like a still shot and it's kind of like a shaky cam or whatnot but like the designs i was actually really fucking with like some of the close-up shots and whatnot some of the angles that they were presenting us with the characters they look really nice like i actually really like how the characters look at times the problem is is that there's just no movement sometimes bro there's just no movement or like sometimes like they'll be doing like in the adam versus zeus fight they'll be punching each other and i get that they're supposed to be punching each other fast but it literally just be like a loop of like these the same frames together and it just looks kind of just lazy you know it looks lazy and like i'm not an animator or anything like that bro but if you're gonna take on a series like ragnarok man we gotta do better than this dude like i know how it feels now to be a manga reader and you're great ass source material just gets butchered or it, it, it just comes out half baked you know i feel like i am being a little bit hard it just comes out half baked it just comes out subpar you know because at the end of the day i i can't get it out of my head i do love this series like i actually like the anime for like just being like an enjoyable experience dude but i just feel that you know it's just there's so many flaws in it that i can't really bear myself to call it a great anime like it, it's not something i would recommend for people to watch and that's just me keeping it real dude i'm not gonna come on here and just fucking you know just you know oh yeah this is the great anime dude like just because just because i love something doesn't mean i always have to be praising it you know i feel like hate comes from love dude like i feel like this is tough love that i'm giving it right now i i just think that yo man Grafnica, dude, like like I said, I don't know the work conditions over there and whatnot, but obviously, bro, I, I just feel like they weren't up to snuff with animating this. Obviously, there's just so much, like, PowerPoint slideshows here and there and whatnot. It's it, it just, I just, it just, I hate using this word to describe it, but it's mid. It literally was just average. It was so mid, man. And I feel like it being mid is worse than it being bad is that am i the only one like i feel like when it's mid it kind of like you you literally just if they had better animation it would have shot up bro like i i would have thought this was at least an eight if it had like just some good animation bro just some more movement here and there but it's just sitting there at this weird spot where it's like it's not really bad but it's not great either it's just there it's okay i guess man and this video is hard for me to make guys i'm not gonna lie bro like I, like i really really was looking forward to coming on here and, and and really praising this show for for giving us some dope ass fights and some dope animations at some times because like i said like the trailer did give us some cool shots and we did get those shots in the trailer but usually after the shots it was followed with just nothing man it was just followed with just mediocre still shots and animations and slideshows bro it's it, it's it's just disappointing man it's that, that's all i can say it's just so disappointing to see a series that i was really looking forward to seeing how adam versus zeus was going to be animated how kojiro versus poseidon was going to be animated how lubu versus thor was going to be animated man and just to see it turn out like this i'm scared low-key if season two gets approved then they move on to the next fight because the next fight is one of my favorite fight if not my favorite in record of ragnarok bro and if it gets the same treatment some slideshow treatment i don't even want it i don't even want it man it's a shame dude like all i'm seeing online bro i i, I was hoping that i would get online the next day and i just see people getting on the re record of ragnarok hype train and you know praising it and whatnot and you know being you know just just i'll have a bunch of positivity dude like there's enough negativity in the world as it is bro and i know it seems counterinductive because I'm, I'm kind of giving my constructive criticism on it but like i said before i'm saying this shit from a place of love dude i'm just saying this stuff i'm, I'm, I'm expressing my frustration just to you guys because like i said i did want to tell you guys how i felt 
after watching the anime, but just seeing everyone shit on it and just saying nothing but negative things about it, it's just so, damn, it's just like such a kick in the face, you know? Ah, it's just so frustrating, bro. <sighs> yeah, everybody. Um, like I said, bro, um, if you made it this far, um, I do not hate this series. I feel like I have to make that clear because there's always so many people that jumps to conclusions and are quick to leave hate comments and whatnot. And if, by the way, if you think this, the anime is good, all power to you, all power to you. I don't want to take away any joy you feel about watching this. Cause like I said before, I had a lot of fun watching this with my friends. This is an enjoyable series in my opinion to just watch with people. Like there's some people that don't care about animation. It, it looks fine. It, I, 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 you know, I totally approve of that, bro. Like if you don't care about the animation and you think this series is fire and whatnot, or the anime is fire, all power to you, bro. I do not want to take that away from you. But from someone that, you know, notices stuff like this and notices how an anime could be better, there's so much more potential beneath it. If it just had the right studio or the right time management or licensors or whatnot, if it maybe it wasn't on Netflix, it, it had so much potential to be a classic, something that people are always going to be talking about, dude. And I feel like Record of Ragnarok is just going to be another one of those series where it's like, just read the manga, man. You know, and it's 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 a shame, dude. And the, the manga is really great. The manga is really great, but there are times that I'm like, dude, you can watch the anime as well and get some dope ass soundtrack, some dope voice acting, and some dope fight scenes when people are actually moving. But that's just not the case here at times, man. But uh, yeah, everybody, um, that's that's gonna be it. Um, like I said, uh, didn't really expect to make this video, dude. Um, I hope you all have a great day today, dude. And uh, yeah. Um, I'm still coping over here, bro. I'm inhaling that copium, but what can you do, right? I love y'all, man, and uh, RIP, I guess.